Morning everybody, uh, welcome to week 19 of the Isolation Pub Session, that's 19, um, and uh, yeah, uh, welcome to my shed. Um, we're going to do another one of these pub sessions, and um, I'm going to crack straight on with the music and have a bit of a chat uh, at half time, but um, you might notice that I, this, this week I've got all these cardboard boxes in my office, which is because... My new tune book has arrived from the printers last week and uh, all of your pre-orders have been sent out. So if you haven't got them already, uh, they are on their way. Um, uh, and yeah, if you don't get yours in the expected time, then do get in touch. But uh, postage can take a, a couple of days extra than it used to, I think. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they've all gone out. My, my local post office hates me. <laughs> Right, with the music. Um, one of the things that I like about doing these pub sessions, which is possibly a little bit selfish, is that there are lots of tunes that I don't think get played in sessions very much at all. And um, and, they're, and they're really good. So sometimes I pull one out which you may not have heard of, um, but I think it's, uh, it's really nice if people um, get to hear these less common tunes. And this is one of them. Uh, it's written by a guy called Andy Chain, who's uh, who lives locally uh, around here, and uh, he's a sit-in guitar player, uh, mandolin player, um, who played with the band The Geckos. And um, uh, this tune used to be a staple of my Oxford sessions. Um, it's called uh, the London Shottish, and it's um, it's in key of B minor. Get my fingers in the right place. Thank you. 
that was the London Shottish. Um, yeah, so uh, how's everyone been doing on week 19 of... Uh, well, it's not lockdown anymore, is it? And that's, that's where I come on to wanting to talk about things. Obviously, I now, I've sent out about 200 of these. Um, and uh, if you have <laughs> a desire for one of these, I've got about 800 left and not very much room in my shed. So, uh, <laughs> no. um, but the other thing I need to talk about is that um, in the coming months, I am actually getting busy again, uh, not with live gigging work. That's making tentative steps here and there. And uh, I'm doing uh, several live streaming things. Um, I'm doing the Beardy Folk Festival uh, in September, but I'm also um, uh, now taking on quite a lot of work making videos for money and also um, taking on work uh, to make albums uh, with people. So uh, what that means is that um, I'm going to have to seriously think about whether I'm going to do these isolation pub sessions forever because they take a very long time to to sort out in a busy week. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't really want to knock them on the head because I think they've been such a nice thing. They've obviously meant a lot to me uh, in terms of keeping me busy doing things and keeping me able to talk to an audience of some sort um, uh, but it's also people have sent me their messages saying how important the sessions has been for them having something musical to do and feeling of being part of a group and I totally get that I think it's I think it's been better than I imagined it would have been as just a general thing um, when I first started doing it but um, I am going to at some point try and ramp down and I might be t taking these to only being monthly rather than weekly in order to allow myself the time to do all the other things I've got to do so um, that's just a warning it isn't happening yet but I think uh, possibly we'll go go to monthly after next week or something like that um, and that left me thinking that these these sessions have been great and they've been kind of a moment in time and everyone you know who's been a part of it uh, has been as important as uh, each other and without you there'd be no session um, so ever on the make to try and find some way of <laughs> creating a way of me making some money um, I was wondering if there would be any interests for an isolation pub session memorabilia type thing like a t-shirt or a, a face mask that'd be quite appropriate wouldn't it no you want something <laughs> probably a t-shirt um, and I had a brief look into how to do that and uh, there are different ways of doing it we can get them printed to demand um, or we can uh, I can guess what sizes everyone's going to want and then uh, buy a load in and have even more cardboard boxes in my shed so uh, yeah I just wanted to have that conversation so if you have any thoughts on whether you'd be up for um, uh, having something like a t-shirt with a little design saying isolation pub session class of 2020 or something like that on it then uh you're yeah let me know let me know in the comments on youtube or in a reply on twitter or there's too many ways to communicate now aren't there but <laughs> i'll find them i've been finding most of the videos um so uh, i'm going to carry on with the music now this is gonna uh, be an interesting one the first one is a request uh, from laura which is, uh, she's asked if we could do the cuckoo's nest. And I can't believe I haven't done that already, given that I duplicated deer tobacco last, <laughs> last week when I could have done it. Um, uh, so yeah, the, the cuckoo's nest, I'm going to do a generic E minor version. There are lots of different variants, but it's, uh, it's going to be quite a, a simple uh, version. So just watch those. I'm going to do the ones with the, if it's in E minor, they have B minor chords rather than B major chords. Um, and, uh, yeah, and after that, um, I was looking at uh, one of uh, another person on the internet doing um, a kind of folk club. He's called Piers Corley, and he does a, a folk club uh, on Twitch, which is a gaming platform. Um, and uh, I, I watched the the end of his set uh, the, last week, and he was talking about uh, reminding me of the time when. Um, we did the song with the the wild rover and uh and i, I realized i haven't even pursued that at all uh, ever since so i'm going to try and do a, a halfway house here i'm going to after the, the cuckoo's nest i'm going to do the um old joe clark which is a bluegrass sort of standard 
and um, and that's got words. So if anyone fancies singing along with this one, uh, um, we're, we're going to do it lots of times through it. It's the kind of song where you can just put a verse in here and a verse in there. So <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, maybe it would be interesting to see if people do different verses at the same time. But I think Fare Thee Well, Old Joe Clark, um, uh, the chorus is fairly comes around every time anyway enough talking that was a lot of talking um uh we're going to do the cuckoo's nest e minor and old joe clark in a
hey that's a yeah you might have noticed my bellows going out there that's a melodian thing if you're playing an a it's all on the pull and you have to grab air on the push wherever you want to get it so uh lovely thank you for joining in with those um uh, I was thinking about the singing thing. Uh, possibly, if I uh, if I do get someone singing early on, I'll put them in uh, singing along a few words with the old Joe Clark, and then maybe if anyone wants to add their vocals after the second one, at least they'll all be the same. Um, anyway, uh, that's a, a long session mainly because of the talking. Um, thank you very much for supporting uh, the channel. You can uh, subscribe to my channel um with one of the little links coming up and uh and that will tell you everything that i'm going to be doing um on video all right see you next week bye <laughs>